Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, we are going to turn a bland looking GNOME desktop into something a little more jazzy with desktop cubes, transparent panels, bouncing icons, wobbly windows, burning windows, and more. Now, all of this may sound pointless to some of you, but you should find some interesting hints and tips as we go along, as GNOME isn't to everyone's taste, but with a few tweaks here and there, it could end up being more to your liking. So we're going to start off with something straightforward and that is changing the desktop wallpaper. Right click on the desktop and click change background. There are lots of default wallpapers available, especially for OpenSUSE and probably for your distribution as well. And if there aren't any that you like, you can always add your own, put them in a folder and then you just choose the picture you want to use. But later on I'm going to show you how you can add a wallpaper changer that pulls new images from various websites every single day. For now though, let's try and make a few tweaks by running GNOME Tweaks. This is probably already installed, but if it isn't, go into the GNOME Software Manager and install GNOME Tweaks. And if it isn't already installed, GNOME Extensions as well. GNOME Tweaks is the least interesting of the two tools, but it does let you change how fonts are rendered, change cursor and icon themes, adjust the sound, mouse, touchpad and keyboard settings. The setting you probably want to change the most if you come from a Windows background is to turn Minimize and Maximize on and you can do that from the Windows tab. Toggle the Maximize and Minimize sliders to on to make them visible and you can even place them on the left if you want to. You can also change the way windows are focused, for instance by default you gain focus to a window by clicking on it, but you can change it to the one the mouse is over or you can follow the mouse to select focus. But let's do something a little bit more interesting and open up GNOME extensions. By adding different extensions you can customise the look and feel of the GNOME desktop. By default in OpenSUSE you get a few extensions added, but they are all switched off. If you want an applications menu for instance you can toggle on the slider for apps menu. The places status indicator turns on a places menu which shows various folders such as your home folder. And the status icons provides icons for apps that are hidden away such as a simple screen recorder. The windows list shows a list of open windows at the bottom of the screen and the workspace indicator makes it easy to switch between workspaces and you can see which workspace you are using. You can go to the GNOME Extensions app website but there's a more interesting site called extensions.gnome.org which has a list of installable extensions. And the first one we will look at is dash 2 panel. So all you have to do is search for dash to panel then click install, open the link and then click install again. As you can see the panel is completely different and now appears at the bottom of the screen. You have to be a bit careful and take note of the shell versions to make sure the version of the GNOME extension is supported. For instance, when I installed the Zorin menu, you can see it won't enable the extension to be turned on. If you do accidentally install one of these, you can simply remove it. Now earlier I promised you a desktop cube. Simply search for desktop cube in extensions.gnome.org and click to install and here is an example of it in action. You can tweak the settings for an extension by clicking the settings icon in the GNOME Extensions app. Let's add some wobbly windows. Simply install the Compass window effect. Now when I created the Cinnamon customization guide I showed a lava lamp effect when minimizing windows. You can add a similar effect in GNOME. Search for Compass alike magic lamp effect and click install. And another good effect is Burn My Windows. It's completely pointless, but it is eye candy. The dock we installed earlier is better than the dock that comes with GNOME, but you can also install the Dash to Dock animated extension, which gives you bouncy icons. You can coordinate the Dash to Dock and the animated versions, or just have one of them and you can also adjust the settings of the animated dash to dock and make the panels transparent and you can make the icons bounce. You can change the position of the dock as well so you can put it on any edge of the screen. As you can see here I have the dash to dock at the top and dash to dock animated at the bottom and by customizing dash to dock I can turn various items on or off. 
The extension I liked in the Cinnamon desktop was the one that enabled me to change the wallpaper every day from various sites. And fortunately there is a similar one for GNOME, but you have to search through all the broken extensions to find the one that works. The picture of the day extension seems to work well, although you can see by my first image it wasn't great. You can change the sources of the images to get something more appropriate to your taste. There are lots of extensions you can use, some will work and some won't. And the issue is with roll and release distros such as OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is that GNOME will update to a later version and some of your extensions may break as a result. But that is a video for another day. For now though that is it, that's the end of the guide, thank you for watching and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux user.